Good morning. Uh, my presentation isn't about technology, it's not about platforms per se, but I should say from the outset that if it wasn't for the ability these days for independent companies to lease space on DAB and for them to be able to stream to a 10 million plus install base of smart speakers, I probably wouldn't be standing here today. And I think the uh, advent of this new technology uh, is really leading, I hope, to a spirit of entrepreneurialism uh, inside UK radio. So I want to tell you a bit about Boom Radio. Um, uh, we were formed just over two years ago, um, and we're a national station. Uh, we're aimed at the UK's 14 million baby boomers. Uh, we're trying to deliver real engagement, and I'll come back on that in a moment, and scale too. We're available on DAB Plus across the UK and on smart speakers, phones, tablets, and PCs. And just to give you a bit of uh, background, about 70% of our weekly reach is on DAB, about 50% of our total reach is also online, and our share of listening is split pretty 50 50 between DAB and online. So, online is pretty important for us, but DAB obviously adds uh, sufficient to make us a, a, a station of scale. We're targeting a generation which feels unloved. Those are the people in their 60s and early 70s who've grown up with commercial radio in the UK and starting with the pirates in the 60s and then the advent of Radio 1 and Radio 2 and then the commercial sector. But they feel as though they've been abandoned a bit by media in general. Uh, and we're trying to provide an alternative. We're trying to play music that the boomers really love. We're not just an oldie station, although oldies are obviously a very central part of what we do. Um, uh, we have a presentation team that our listeners grew up with. David Hamilton, who does our lunchtime show, is 84. The average age of our presenters is about 70. Uh, we're aimed at people in their 60s and 70s. We run a very rich schedule. We have a pre-breakfast, a breakfast show, a mid-morning show, a lunchtime show, mid-afternoon, drive time, early evening, late evening. Uh, one of the things that we know that our listeners want is an, a, a really rich personality-led uh, presentation style, so that's what we do. Currently, we have 443,000 listeners, 3.95 million listening hours. Uh, we, we are really rocketing in terms of our audience. Um, and what's really interesting is 93% of our listening comes from people over the age of 55. We are very, very well targeted uh, at the audience that we're trying to serve. And we've got huge listening loyalty. In the four or five surveys that we've been published in, we've either been first or second commercial radio station in terms of uh, hours spent listening per week, in terms of uh, how, how long our listeners are staying with us. Our audience growth is pretty impressive. Our weekly reach is 443. Our monthly reach is about 734,000. Our goal, medium term goal, is to get to a million listeners first on the month, then hopefully on the week. Uh, and we've got a plan in place to do that over the course of the next 18 months. Who's behind it? Well, there's me and my mate David. We've been uh, partners in crime for 20, 25 years. But the big story here, I think, is that we, uh, it was David's, Boom was David's idea. Uh, I came up with the name. He came up with the concept. Uh, he does the programming. I count the, the, the pennies. Um, and the idea came to David. Uh, I think it's been running, it'd been running in his mind, but it came to him about two years ago. He sent me an email. He said, what do you think? And I said, yeah, maybe there's a possibility here. We decided we, own, we were going to do this ourselves. We weren't going to involve a, uh, any corporations or corporate backing. We went to our friends, media friends, people who've been in the radio business, and said, look, we're going to do this. We're going to do this uh, ourselves. Do you want to back us? And we got maybe 20 of our uh, close associates and friends in the media to back us, and they've been with us ever since. Um, we launched in February of last year. Within two weeks of launch, we decided that we'd made a terrible mistake. We'd only, we were only on DAB in London, and the response from listeners was so overwhelming that we thought we've got to get on DAB nationally. Luckily, there was 24 kilobits of capacity on DAB Plus on, on SDL, the second national multiplex, uh, and we managed to secure that in a very, very uh, quick uh, negotiation. Uh, that meant we had to go back to all those 20 shareholder friends of ours and say, we know you went down the back of the sofa to find that money. You're going to have to go back down again and find a bit more because we've now got to pay a deposit for this uh, um, spectrum. But they did that. 
Uh, we went live on DAB nationally literally a month after we'd launched, uh, and we've never looked back. Our slogan, I think, uh, the lady from Germany was talking about a sense of purpose. Um, you know, what's the, what's the underlying drive here? And I think it's very important to find that. Our sense of purpose is to help our listeners live their best lives. That's what we want to do in terms of how we approach what we're doing on the radio. Uh, and I'll show you how I think we're succeeding in that uh, in a moment. And of course, the baby boomer generation who've only just got to the 60 to 75 year old demographic, they've been moving through all of these stages and all of the uh, radio brands. They've just got to 60 to 75. They are the richest generation that's ever lived. There's a hell of a lot of uh, political uh, stuff goes on in the UK about how rich the boomers are. Of course, not all of them are rich, and many of them are only rich in terms of their property portfolio, but they are rich in terms of experience as well, and we try and tap into that. They, uh, in terms of what these people are, and I'm a boomer, I'm 63, there's a fair few boomers in the audience here today as well. We have busy social lives, we're very active, curious, we live in the moment, uh, we make the most of the new lifestyle. Most of us are pretty computer literate, you know, we can hack our way through things. Uh, 65, 70% of us are, are online with Facebook and other uh, social media. Um, and so, you know, it really is a very interesting group to target. And our online, if, if our core purpose is to help boomers live their best lives, what, how does that manifest itself in terms of our marketing? Our marketing strap line, which we went through two or three iterations before we landed on this, is feel young again. And it really resonates with our listeners who feel young in themselves, but feel that they're portrayed as old pensioners and they don't feel that way and they want to feel young again. Uh, and, and it's what we've tapped into. And it's a music station for today. It's a music station for our generation. We play a very, very wide playlist of tracks. We play some, something like seven or 8,000 tracks are on our playlist. We don't play them all in the same rotation. We obviously play Reach Out, I'll Be There By The Four Tops a bit more often than we play some of their other hits, but we have quite a deep catalogue. And we feel that was something that was missing from the, um, certainly from the commercial sector. And there are some stations that edge on to the baby boomer generation, but they have very tight playlists. We have a very broad one and we get a lot of uh, positive feedback from that. So I just want to finish off the last few minutes here by talking a bit about the response that we've got since we've launched. And hopefully this will give you, those of you who, who toil away in the, in the racks rooms, a bit of a flavour of what it is that you're doing and what it is you're helping us do. Because the feedback that we've had since we've launched this radio session has been like nothing we've ever seen before in our lives. It's been absolutely incredible. We get hundreds if not thousands of emails or messages every day from our listeners. The response is, is stunning and has been from launch and continues to this day. So I'm going to show you a few uh, messages from listeners around some of the themes that have been talked about this morning. Joy is a big one uh, for us. The, the number of people who tell us that we've brought some joy into their lives, they actually felt before we came along that they'd, so they'd fallen out of love with radio. They'd lost the passion uh, for, for the medium. But what we're doing is bringing it back to them. And you can see some of the comments there. Best station we found, even if it did cost a new DAB radio to find it. Um, best radio station in a long time. The, 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 this sort of level of feedback is just uh, tremendous and, and is an underlying underpinning for uh, what we've been doing. I mentioned the 8,000 tracks. It's something that we pride ourselves on. We, we are unashamedly trying to take on Radio 2. I don't know whether there are people from the BBC here, we, but they know that. We've told the world we're a little pimple on the bum of Radio 2. Where hopefully we'll get a bit bigger. Radio 2 is the biggest radio station, I think, in continental Europe. So, you know, uh, there's, a, there's a lot for us to go at. One of the things we do is something that Radio 2 used to do and still does to a certain degree, which is play a very wide variety of music. And for a boomer audience who haven't heard some of these songs played on the radio for 20, 25, 30 years, it's absolutely enthralling for them to hear a radio station that's prepared to go and dig out an album track or a B-side or a song that was a hit on the radio but wasn't a big hit. We don't do that all the time. We're very conscious that we need to leaven the less well-known tracks with the bigger hits. But the passion that people uh, give to us because we're playing a wider variety of music is phenomenal. 
feel young again. It's one of the reasons why we know this is a very powerful marketing message for us. It's because people tell us. They, they just volunteer that what we're doing makes them feel young again. It's a, the most powerful way of tying back what we're doing with the response that we're getting from our listeners. And you can see there, you know, we've converted a boom. It's great. Makes me feel like a teenager again. That level of feedback is just phenomenal. Great service, lovely music. Takes me back to my teenage years. Great to hear the music again. Um, you know, played Love Me Do by the Beatles. I was suddenly back at grammar school, sat on my desk, harmonising with some of the girls. That level of uh, response is just phenomenal. Then I think it was touched on this morning, and it really is a very important part here. We are serving 60 to 75, so we do drift a bit older. There's a real need amongst many of our older listeners, particularly those who are living on their own, to feel a sense of community. And many of them felt that, to, to a degree, radio had lost that for them. And hopefully we are part of bringing that back to them. And you can see some of the uh, response there. Uh, I told my best friend all about Boom. He's very pleased with it, as I'm sure it suits his memorable music and presenters. Um, and the number of people who say uh, they live on their own, they've lost a partner. Um, uh, but Boom is bringing back a sense of community and friendship uh, for them. And that's part of why we're not a music jukebox. You won't hear hour after hour of music with just liner notes between. There are real presenters doing the shows all the time. And by the way, we are entirely voice tracked and our presenters love it. And it's a fantastic way for us to tap into presenters who live in Spain, Scotland, the south of England, you name it. Our presenters live all over the country and, and beyond and are managing to do a show for a radio station remotely because of the technology. So whilst we, they don't get the buzz of the red light going on, they get the buzz of the feedback from, uh, from their listeners. And, and finally, tied in with community, a feeling of hope. People you know, are, are tremendously positive about uh, what we're doing and how it gives them a sense of hope. Uh, thank you, Boom, for being there. Constant companion since I tragically lost my wonderful husband. I don't know what I would have done without your music full of happy memories. We get those messages all the time. Only yesterday, um, somebody sent in a, a, a text. Um, they'd uh, put a request. We, have a, we do a Sunday afternoon request show, and they put a request on for a girlfriend they hadn't seen for 50 years. She got in contact, and they, you know, they're... Well, I don't know whether they're back together yet. I mean, who knows? But that degree of con connectivity is just uh, phenomenal for us. Uh, we love it. Um, we're developing a sense of scale to here. It's early days. We've been on air less than two years. Uh, we grew 30-odd percent in the last Ray Jar. I know from our streaming, we're going to get something, we hope, pretty similar this survey. And we hope that's going to continue for the next year, year and a half. We went back to our shareholders only a few months ago and said, you know what? You're going to have to put your hand down the back of the sofa again because we really got to tell people about this radio station. We've got to spend some money on marketing because you know, the, the response is so great. We need to get the word out. Um, and I'm going to show you a, a bit of our marketing in just a moment. Um, but you know our uh, reach on Facebook is phenomenal. We're getting to 2 million people uh, a month in terms of connections into the stuff that we're posting. We posted a tweet about Pete Murray, who's one of our occasional presenters, who's 96, 97. Um, we got a million, uh, uh, not, not a tweet, sorry, a Facebook post. We got a million uh, 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 page impressions from that, which was just a phenomenal piece of uh, viral marketing. And Finally, we can be, like most people who get older and don't care what other people think, we can be a bit mischievous. Uh, as, as many of you will know, the great Steve Wright finished his, uh, his show uh, a few weeks ago, and we decided that he deserved a, a send-off from the wider industry, not just from Radio 2. So we took some posters out just to say, well done, Steve, love the show. Um, uh, we, thought, we thought we'd be a bit cheeky. I'm going to finish. We've got 40 seconds left. Uh, I said we'd asked our shareholders to give us a... Uh, pocket full of cash, which they have done. We've spent it on some TV and Facebook and other activity. I'm just going to show you our TV ad now. Uh, if you could just play that in for us. You love music. It's not just sound or lyrics. It's feelings, memories, friendship, adventure, freedom, 
love. It's all in there, in the songs you hear and the songs we play. Boom Radio. Feel young again.